أعزائي الطلبة طلبة الصف الثاني الثانوي لغات وتجريبي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا بكم في درس جديد من دروس الستاتستكس بنكمل النهاردة مع بعض أو بنبدأ إكسرسايز 1-1 on the resultant of two forces meeting at a point First question complete The effect of a force on a body is determined by the following. So, the solution, the effect of any force depends on the following factors. We have three factors. First is the magnitude of a force. Second, the direction of the force. Third, point of action of the force and its line of action. Question number two, the vector of the resultant of these two forces, F1 and F2, is equal to, here we want to write uh, the rule, R equals the square root of F1 square plus F2 square plus 2 F1 F2 cosine alpha. Third question, incomplete, the maximum value of the resultant of two forces of magnitude 4 and 6 Newton meeting at a point equals the required here is to find the maximum value of the resultant of these two forces. Of course, the maximum value equals the sum of these two forces. 4 plus 6 equals 10 newtons. So the maximum value equals 10 newtons. Next question, the minimum value of the resultant of two forces of magnitudes 5 and 9 newton meeting at a point equals. The required here is to find the minimum value. Solution. The minimum value of the resultant equal absolute 9 minus 5 which equal 4 newton. The minimum value of the resultant equal absolute of 9 minus 5 or you can write 5 minus 9. The same result. It will be 4 because of the absolute. Question number 5. We have two forces, 2 and 3 Newton are two forces. If the angle between them is 60 degrees, then the magnitude of their resultant equals. First, we write the rule. R equals the square root of F1 square plus F2 square plus 2 F1 F2 cosine alpha. Alpha is uh, the included angle between the two forces. Here we have alpha equals 60 and the two forces F1 is 2 F2 is 3. So R equals the square root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 2 multiply 2 multiply 3 cosine 60. After you calculate it you will find that the resultant uh, equals square root of 19 newton so the magnitude of their resultant equals root 19 newton choose the correct answer from those given the magnitude of the resultant of two forces of magnitude 3 and 5 newton and the measure of the angle between them is 60 degrees equals one of this choice it is uh, the same previous question. So we write the rule and you substitute, you will get that. Uh, the answer of R equals seven uh, Newtons. So uh, the result uh, in C, we choose C. Next question, two forces of magnitudes Three and four newtons act on a particle, and the magnitude of their resultant is five newton. Then the measure of the angle between them equals one of these choice. The required here is to find the uh, magnitude or the value of the angle between these two forces. Again, we will use the same rule. Five. It is the, the value, the magnitude of the resultant. 5 equals square root of F1 square, 3 square plus 4 square, it is F2, plus 2 multiply 3 multiply 4 cosine alpha. 
and the required here is to find cosine alpha and we uh, will start calculate it squaring the two sides uh, the square of 5 is 25 the square of the root equals 25 plus 24 cosine alpha uh, 3 square plus 4 square equals 25 2 multiply 3 multiply 4 equals 24 cosine alpha so 24 cosine alpha equals 0 24 cosine alpha equals 0 uh, because 25 minus 25 equals 0 and then cosine alpha equals 0 what is the value of alpha in this case alpha equals 90 so here we have two perpendicular forces alpha equals 90 degrees so we choose uh, d two equal forces the magnitude of each of them is six newtons the magnitude of their resultant is six newton then the angle between them equals one of these Ag again two equal forces here we have two equal forces and the magnitude of each of them is six f1 and f2 each of them equals six the magnitude of the resultant equals six two then the uh, the angle between them equals so we write the rule r equals 2f cosine alpha over 2 and you can use the main rule but this rule is easy so r equals 2f cosine alpha over 2 as the two forces are equal and then substitute what is the value of r from the given r is 6 and f also equals 6 6 newtons we write it cosine alpha over 2 so cosine alpha over 2 equals 6 divide 12 which equal half so cosine alpha over 2 equals uh, half so alpha over 2 equals 60 because cosine 60 equals half you can use your calculator and then alpha equals 120 so we choose c question number nine two forces of magnitude the three and f newton and the measure of the angle between them is 120 if their resultant is perpendicular to the first force so the value of f in newton is one of this again two forces of magnitude three and f and the measure of the angle between them is 120 and if uh, their resultant is perpendicular to the first force so theta equals 90 uh, such that theta is the measure of the angle between the first force 3 and the resultant here the required is to find the value of f we write the rule then theta equals f2 sine alpha over f1 plus f2 cosine alpha such that theta it is the magnitude or the value of the angle between the resultant and the first force f1 which equal 3 in our problem here and the alpha is the included angle between 3 and f and then we substitute 1090 because the uh, resultant is perpendicular to f1 it means the, uh, the angle between them equals 90 degrees which equal f sine 120 over 3 plus f cosine 120 you know that 1090 is undefined in this case we will consider 3 plus f cosine 120 equals 0 because division by 0 is meaningless is undefined again 1090 is undefined what does that mean that means that the, the in this fraction the denominator equals zero and we complete three plus f cosine 120 degrees equals zero and then three plus f multiply negative half equals zero because cosine 120 equals negative half and then you calculate it you will find that f equals 
six newton it is the same unit and we choose d if the two forces six and eight are perpendicular then the sign of the angle of the of inclination of their resultant with the first force equals one of this the required here is to find the inclination angle between uh, the resultant and the first force the resultant and and the six and the included angle between six and eight is perpendicular is 90 because they said if the two forces six and eight are perpendicular it means alpha here what is the value of alpha it is 90 okay uh, considering the angle between the first force and the resultant equals theta we write the rule tan theta equals f2 sine alpha over f1 plus f2 cosine alpha f1 is the first force always we write it alone here and the sine over cosine sine over cosine f2 sine alpha over f2 cosine alpha then substituting tan theta equals 8 it is f2 8 it is f2 sine 90 over 6 it is f1 from the given plus 8 cosine 90 90 is alpha don't forget because the two forces are perpendicular and uh, you simplify this sine 90 equals 1 1 multiply 8 equals 8 cosine 90 equals 0 so 8 cosine 90 equals 0 so we have 8 over 6 which equal 4 over 3 now we have tan theta equals 4 over 3 then we draw a triangle containing theta and the tan theta equals 4 over 3 4 over 3 so what is the value of the what is the length of the hypotenuse it will be 5 of course this angle equals 90 so uh, the required here is to find sine sine theta sine of the angle so sine theta equals 4 over 5 and this will be the required sine alpha equals 4 over 5 and we we'll choose b